If you need to scrape data from OnlyFans, I'm not gonna ask why, but I think I have a pretty good idea, then I'm going to show you how to legally do this using only your web browser without violating the OnlyFans terms of service. To get started, open up OnlyFans in your web browser. I suggest using Google Chrome, especially in incognito mode if you're like me and don't have an OnlyFans account. And we'll start by building a list of profiles to scrape. So here, OnlyFans has an account on their website. This is all publicly accessible. So here, I'm gonna click through to the OnlyFans profile, onlyfans.com slash OnlyFans, and there's a profile page for every creator on the platform. And I want to scrape a list of all the profiles that the official account mentions, because they're probably pretty high profile creators, and I wanna see what's going on in their accounts. So I right click on the page and hit inspect. Now under the network tab, this is gonna begin capturing all of the traffic that OnlyFans sends to my web browser. So here, I'm just legally using the website as a normal user without violating the terms. The only difference is now I'm recording the web traffic that they're sending to Google Chrome, and I can see this under the network tab. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling through all these OnlyFans posts until I get to enough where I think I can probably scrape enough users. Now under the network tab, I look for this little down arrow labeled export har, I click that and it's gonna download a HAR file which is a capture of all the raw data that OnlyFans sent to my web browser. Now click the link in this video description to head to my OnlyFans HAR file web scraping page. This HAR file web scraper can parse any HAR file and pull out the structured data from the JSON into downloadable files and you can download some parts of it for free. So here I can see these are all the posts we scraped from the official OnlyFans website. When I hit parse group, I'll be able to parse this into downloadable files. So I can see a quick preview here. So this list of 100 rows are all 100 posts that we scraped from the feed. This is gonna show things like the caption, when it was posted, number of favoriters, some basic data. But what I wanna capture are these lists of users who are mentioned, because I want a list of OnlyFans profiles to scrape. So when I come down here, I get this collection called mentioned users. So this denormalizes all those IDs of those users who are mentioned. And what's great, if I copy this ID and I go back here, I can paste it in after the slash, just the user ID, and it will redirect me to the user profile. So I can see here, this is the first user that the official OnlyFans account mentioned. So I can go back here, and now I have these list of numerical IDs, and I can just plop them into OnlyFans, and it'll take me to their profile. I just need to click sign up here, and I can create a free Steve C Data account to extract this data. So here I'm just logged into my account and reran the HAR file parse. Now I can see all the rows. So I can download this as a CSV file or a little trick if you have a paid account and click the Save As Collection, you'll be able to copy the entire column contents and save it. So you can skip this part. If you already have a list of OnlyFans URLs, you don't need to do all this ridiculous work, so I don't wanna go too deep into it, but I don't, so I'm just scraping a bunch of random accounts for demonstration purposes. All right, so I've got my list on the left and OnlyFans on the right. So now as to not violate the terms of service, I will need to be doing this manually. You'll see what I mean. So I open up developer tools, click network. So now I'm recording the web traffic. Make sure this preserve log is checked. That will make sure we capture the network traffic as we load each profile. So I'm just gonna literally copy and paste each URL, wait for the page to load. And then here under the filter, I can copy the ID and I can paste it here and verify that the data loaded. So here's the raw data behind this profile. This is gonna show me engagement stats, profile, number of subscribers. And there's also this monetary value it shows, which I believe is the amount of money each creator has earned by referring other people to OnlyFans. This will come up in another couple profiles, but they show you a lot of data. I'm not sure if they meant to show publicly, but they are sending it to us as a non-logged in user in the network traffic. So there's a lot of data here that I don't think they want us to know about. So, you know, take advantage of this while you can. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the third creator when we click on their ID and look for it here. Also, this lookup part is unnecessary if you have a list of URLs with the actual username in them. You don't need to verify that each ID is here, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Anyway, this referral bonus sum with two Ms for refer, this is $2,200. So this makes me think that this person earned $2,200 by referring people to sign up for OnlyFans, or maybe that's her total earnings. I'm not really sure. I don't see this number of service anywhere on the public webpage. It's just shown on their own API, which is sending uh, its data to us as a non-logged out user. So you may be able to figure out how much each of these creators are earning on OnlyFans, at least from referrals, by just looking at this data. I'm not advertising, you go and automatically scrape it, even though you probably could, but I can see here, this is $3,300. I've seen some of these accounts go up to like $10,000, $20,000. So if you're looking for creators who are probably making money, this field may be a good indicator of that because it seems like it's an unofficial number of how much money they're making on this platform, at least from referrals. So here's the last one, and this one I don't see a value for. But if not, you can also get things like media account. 
It also shows number of archived posts, number of times they've deleted a post. So there's a lot of data here that's really interesting. You may find it useful. Anyway, I'm gonna save another HAR file with a different name as to not override my other HAR file. And I run that through the HAR file web scraper again. I'm gonna collapse this first group here. This is just static data. You can ignore these things. You wanna look for this API2 slash V2. Here you're gonna see all the referring URLs. So these are the five users' profiles we visited and recorded the public data that OnlyFans sent to a web browser. If I click on these disk icons, I can download the raw data absolutely free. That's part of the free tier of the service. But if you have a paid account or a free account, you can do up to 10 rows of these a day. You're able to download and combine all this data together as a CSV file. So here's the data on all the profiles we browse. I can see a URL to their avatar, a URL to their header photos, the username, and a lot of these columns here are kind of the same. I can see by the color coding on the column headers that there's nothing different. This here, tips max uh, and tips min are interesting columns. I'm not sure if any of them have them different, but I'm gonna keep scrolling until I get to more interesting columns. So here I can see the date and time they joined OnlyFans. Actually, they're all at midnight, so they're just really the date. And then I can see their profile. So one has formatting, other is more raw. And a lot of times these will contain URLs, maybe to their Instagram or to their Twitch or to something else. They do have a field to put in their official website. So this could be Instagram or their own first party website if they have one. They can also set up a wish list. Do with that list what you want, especially if you're a super fan of one of these creators. And you can see where they're located. Los Angeles, I'm not very surprised for some reason. Number of posts, and this is what I mentioned, this archive post count, it looks like the number of posts they deleted, which is not good, because that suggests they may not actually be deleted on the OnlyFans servers. Anyway, number of photos, number of videos, number of audios, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a feature they haven't launched yet when they were last online. Then you can see the number of other creators they favorited. So this is like outbound follows and favorited count are the number of people who have favorited this creator. So this is sort of like the follower count on Instagram. This is an interesting column, show media account. Some users don't want the number of media files shown, although we can clearly see them here in this API. And here's this referral bonus column I mentioned that shows the amount of money that they may or may not have earned from referring users. I really don't know what this means. Again, this is an unofficial API used to power their front end. This number does not appear to be used anywhere on the front end, but the way that this field is named is very suggestive. And we can see the number of streams that each creator has finished. So here, oh, this person finished a lot of live streams. So good for her or him, I guess, you never know. And here's another field, whether or not they should actually show that number or not, which you're able to see here regardless. And this is, I guess, when they first published their first post on OnlyFans. So that's it. These are the most interesting columns I could find. So those were for profile details. This is back to that posts demonstration I did where I scraped all of the posts from the official OnlyFans account. So you can see the data here isn't that interesting. We get the raw text when it was posted. As far as engagement, we get the number of favorites. If you wanna scrape the actual content for your own non-commercial analysis, you can do that with these URLs here. I tried one of them and it actually loaded. Just be very careful if you do access any of this content or media due to copyright concerns, consult an attorney if you do anything with this. And that's basically it. Let me know in the comments what you're doing with OnlyFans data. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful and cool day.